Alright guys, I think we're good to go. What's happening? It's sunset? Alright, we'll wait and we'll sleep. I don't think we've actually slept in this game yet. Um, though there's maybe a couple places I can check I just put my head in before heading back to base. That might be a good way to use this last little light. One of which is just over here. Today is a land exploration day in case anybody needs a reminder. Um, over there uh, is land but we do not have hydraulic fluid yet to do so. But when the gel sacks have grown I think that's something that we can actually do. Um, because hydraulic fluid to extend the bridge. Creep vine C cluster and gel sack times four. Okay, I won't have it for a little bit yet but... In fact, let's check on that immediately. How's my boys growing? 81%. Okay, well by the time I use this last little light and sleep, they'll be ready for the harvest and, um, well, three times three is nine. I should have nine uh, gel sacks that I can make use of instead. Although, I can harvest them at the end. I forgot a wee trick to harvesting. Yeah. By sacrificing a single seed, I can get a whole gel sack. I still won't have enough to make the hydraulic fluid, but that can be a, a thing for later. So, let's walk them. What is over this direction? Is it just a simple way back down to the water? Because that's fine if so. Aha, it is. Mm. Uh, this would be a perfect spot for like a light source. Uh, a light stick, I should say. Because it's yet another dock going back into the base. I like it. I never explored down here at all because I, I didn't want to even chance discovering something. Hmm. Put it down there for now. No, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Well, that's the last of the light then, I guess. Let's go to bed. Here we go. Uh, greetings, Adams. You guys doing alright? Bits to date? Well, that's okay, we all go through patches like that. Sleepy sleepy. What happens as you are sleeping? Oh. I was being pulled from a logical ah. world to a logical world. <laughs> with you at the center of them all. I was dreaming. The brain processes in mysterious ways when we sleep. Does it serve a purpose? It was such disorienting and fragmented thought. Random images and sensations. No one is completely sure what it does. There are theories, but every human dreams. Many other mammals, too. Is it enjoyable? Mm -hmm. It can be. We can experience impossible joy, and also impossible terror in our dreams. Sometimes I can fly. Sometimes I call out to Sam and can't reach her. Mm. Sometimes I'm in my underwear, defending my <laughs> doctoral thesis. It's a mixed bag. Your biofeedback indicates that flying is the most enjoyable dream. I therefore hope you have many more of those. Aww. Mainly for my own safety. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a charming little exchange, actually. I like that a lot. For me, the, the point of dreaming has... um. Well, not always, but uh, it's fairly obvious. Uh, for me, it's a way to categorize, um, process things, you know? Like, we need time and uh, thinking about things uh, in order to process them fully. Nice. Uh, bip. Uh, do I go for the whole shebang? Yeah, I'm not using them now anyway. Might as well get the extra seed. Dreaming gives the brain space and the stimuli it could potentially need to <sighs> mull things over, uh, in the very sense of the word. I mean, I feel like I, I've had first-hand experience of this. You know, the term sleep on it is kind of comes from that. I don't know why the scenarios outline the way that they are. But for me, that's that's kind of the beginning and the end of the process. Who knows, though? So I guess, you know, Robin would probably know there's probably multiple theories existing out there on why we dream. Apologies for the hesitancy. I am trying to consider the best way forward because it's amazing how quickly your stuff winds down and I, I just don't want to live off coffee. It's only plus 50 as well. I think the best honest to God thing to do... Oh, yeah, no, this is right. It's take a bunch of peppers. I mean, they're gonna Welcome go old. Aboard, Captain. 
but beyond that, what else is there? I'll take it from the back here. Never eat from the back. Okay. Inventory full. Munch on one. And uh, off we go. Ow. <laughs> I need a block there or something. Hey, we're going to sprint, keep the blood flow moving. Hope for good weather. Now, uh, this way first. All Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Mm. Unique identifier. Fire robotics center. Makes sense to me. Stick to the left wall. Very pretty in here. Ooh, 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 alien crystal stuff. Ah, yes, excellent. And peppers that I can munch on. But oh, uh, not that I need to. My, my temperature's gone back up because of the insulation in this cave. This is new. Marbled an enemy. A nip. What's that noise? Oh, it's a Pathfinder thing. Uh, the terrestrial anemones are sustained by a commensal, a commensal relationship with small clusters of fungi that feed off the anemones' slimy um, secretions. Indeed they do. Okay, Pathfinder tool up here. Let's follow it. I, can I use Pathfinder stuff for that? Because that can be really useful. Do I have my Pathfinder tool on me? I never used the bloody thing. I don't think I've even made one yet. Um, a cargo. Oh, Pathfinder tool. Uh, I mean, just grab the titanium, I guess. My inventory is pretty much full. It is full, in fact. Oh, I got rid of them, too. Maybe that's an indicator. Maybe there's a chance of getting lost in here. But we can turn back and make a, make a Pathfinder tool if we feel the need to do so. Coming out onto another site here. This looks like Phi. Phi Robotics landing pad. Why do I have a beacon for that? Did I set this one up? Oh no, it's new. Uh, boom. There we go. Haven't explored it yet, so it goes red. Just checking. We've come upon one more uh, life form since then. I'm not forgetting there's a pathway back here, but let's explore this first. Okay. Nice music, nice music, okay. So where's the where's the cutoff here? Let's pass this light stick. And start getting that back. Okay, let's do it. Fire robotics. This is where um Sam worked, right? Skyray, that's all that shadow was. Mm-hmm. Nope, nothing up here. It's like another cave here. Can I just put my head in? Grab myself some warmth. I appear to be able to. Does this just lead me back to where I think it does? What the fuck was that? Oh goodness, this place is intimidating. <laughs> right, well, let's not go this way right now because I don't want to get lost. So that looks like it might lead uh, be a pathway that leads up to the walkway up there. Hmm. Stuff to explore here already. I can hear geysers, which will hopefully help me navigate. What's this? Slime stone. What's this? From the meteor storm? It's possible. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Oh joy. <sighs> well, we just do what we can. Um, let's grab that sustenance. Well, what's this? Uh, that's wrong. Frosted sinew tree. Alrighty. Uh. You alright? I see what I see there. 
Cool. Spy plane pangling fragment. Hell yes. Hell yes, I can make these? The spy pangling provides new avenues for researchers to access natural... Uh, my guys are stopped. Um, and I can't... Huh. Ah. Uh, too small, huh? Ah, excellent. Alright, well, pangling hole. Um, we actually gotta use it. It's a spy drone, it's a spy cam for, um, uh, for above ground, uh, exploration, I guess, because, uh, down low we've got the, the, uh, the, 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 the spheres. Um, up here we got, uh, penglings, and what a completely natural, uh, chain of, um, technological evolution that is. As you can tell, words are my best thing today. Alright, obviously we're having some trouble here processing. Just chill your pash. What's that? It's just snow. Uh, okay, we need uh, we need a safe spot. So let's let's actually before we press any further, let's back off and see what we got. Don't worry, guys. The episode's half an hour long. There's plenty of time, even with me being very careful. Okay, um, it's especially effective at maneuvering through spaces otherwise too small for humans. Yep. Hmm. Penguins are highly active creatures who are protective of their young penglings. In order to better study these energetic denizens of the Arctic region, Altera scientists on 4546B had to think outside the base. The base? <laughs> Was that old version of the phrase died out? A well-known phenomenon, the V Cesis principle, asserts that in order to best study fauna, one must become the fauna. <laughs> Scientists across the stars have used this basic principle to infiltrate and observe alien creatures of all sizes and dispositions. Dr. Cesis, Curtis, Tucson, and Macbeth pioneered these accomplishments. Inspired by this, and after months of trial and error, the first spy pangling was crafted at a Phi robotic center, bringing about a new era of exploration and excavation across all operating outposts. Warning, research to create waterproof edition of the spy pangling was halted due to compliance with uh, compliance concerns. Currently, contact with water will result in complete system failure, so you don't bring it underwater. It could probably still get rained on, though. Fully customizable outer shell to replicate any small bipedal creature. Two all-terrain tracks. Mm-hmm. For smooth movement over rough terrain. Today's beverage, by the way, is just water. Remote controller for operating at distances up to 80 meters. Oh, it's not very far. Um, atmosphere dependent. Four storage slots. Self-destruct option in case of danger or immobility. Arm with three prongs cloth for picking up samples. Fully detachable camera with 180 degree rotation to observe spy pingling and surroundings. Sit back, relax, and let the robot do the hard work. Fantastic. Um, well, what's the uh, what's the the happy haps with it? Copper. It's all very within reach. Is it sunset yet? All right. What we'll do is we will explore this clearing, and once we have done that, uh, ooh, oh, that's a sky ray. Once we've done that, we'll head, we'll actually head back to base and craft us one of these bad boys. With that in mind, I can actually do stuff like uh, maybe gather some like quartz and just happy haps. Yeah, that way we can go in that inside that hole. That's my current plan anyway. If something draws me further and further in, then we'll just go with it. Whoa, that actually scared me. <laughs> Easy, tiger. Nothing happened. Oh, fire robotics. Excellente. Hey, it gets warmer at night, right? Where's the landing pad? There's the beacon. Yeah, this looks okay. Let's get Take full advantage of that. Is this ice? I can't really see. Oh, I wasn't far enough. Up. Oh, I wasn't close enough. Okay, things are actually getting a little bit tricky to uh, navigate. 
This is interesting, look. It's like, obviously it's a waterfall and the water is still going inside, but it's got this like protective icy casing. Titanium, that's really good. Come back and get that sometime. Just put that over there. Probably for another day. Alrighty, well, um, I know what I said, but with fire robotics being right here, technically part of the clearing, let's head inside. Very nice. It's a further walkway up here, right? Does that just take me round into the cave where I saw the uh, pepper plant? Further and further up. Yeah, yeah, got it. Okay. Ominous. In we go. Wow, this Fly Robotics. Whoa. This is where Sam worked. This place has seen some significantly better days. Oh, what's this? Oh, whoa, what? What? Snow Fox? New blueprint synthesized. Snow Fox assembly and repair, magnetic thermal energy conversion, land based operations and low to medium. I. Like an, unma like a, an unmanned drone or a remote drone or something that I can fly around for the exploration purposes? Or something that I can hop onto myself to explore. <laughs> uh, my memory's full. Um, okay, cool. So, yeah, what we know about this place so far is that Sam was working here. But after some disagreements in management, was reassigned to uh, Station Zero. She annoyed the management what she was doing with uh, where she was prying and so they told her to take a hike and reassigned her maybe she left something here I don't know that the timeline doesn't suggest that it would be in this state of disrepair this just seems dramatic uh, let's see if we can get up I mean it's not looking super promising is it but I did it <laughs> huh okay Oh, that's disorientating. That's super disorientating. Nice counter. I was actually looking for that in my inventory when I was uh, building White Shore. Got it now. Oh, fiber mesh. Well, I'm not swimming in that, but uh, it's not worth a pepper, I'm afraid. Administration. Huh. I wonder if this is where they made the decision to reassign her or if she was kind of in charge of her own stuff. Let's go into admin. A thermal heater. There's running water here or something. Oh, I see a data pad. Oh, actually, I picked up a data pad before, which I almost forgot about. Uh, so that's meeting with Zeta. Zeta, hang in there, Katie. Um, I. Oh. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Um, the spy penguins are created, uh, creating so many new research opportunities. They're perfect for exploring tight spaces, little pockets. The penguin can't carry much, but as an added bonus, the local fauna seem to generally ignore them. My little robot friends are too cute to get destroyed. Oh, <laughs> you brought a friend. Spy penguin in training. We're recording audio, is that okay? Of course. I have the photos you sent. Um, what am I looking at here? Corral pustules on the frozen leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice samples suggest it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Very. Uh, if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? Uh -huh. I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penguins. Oh. Yeah, that's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. I'll take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. 
Hmm, I knew Zeta was a management type. I actually forget why exactly I knew that, um, but... Do I need a large flask for anything? It hasn't let me to pick up any of the other scientific equipment. Make a pepper. Pepper. Useless. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. Um, and yeah, that was nice. That was uh, nice of her to do that. Uh, but uh, whereas in a manual, I'm recognizing a uh, kind of uh, a lack of environment. Is that just fit water? Yeah. Or better even. I'm not seeing a lack of managerial techniques in certain ways. Um, a certain incompetence when it comes to gaining and using the trust of uh, employees. In Zeta, I'm actually identifying that she's quite good at that side of things. So she seems nice. And managers can be like genuinely nice people with, you know, just having to manage the usual priorities of their work, which is, you know, their job. That's absolutely fine. But let's bear in mind that this is Altera we're talking about. Um, we know Altera is not the best, and I'm not necessarily inclined to trust Zeta. Not necessarily because she's definitely bad. Ooh. Oh, that's the game. But because she could be in, we wouldn't know. Whoa, fridge? Oh, hell yes. What a great idea. Cool, I can already tell what that's for. Um, PDA here too. Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. Whoa, I think that's the new. game will new. settle this debate. So, I just didn't. want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern with the frozen leviathan. I investigated and... You I... investigated? <laughs> when? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. Those drawings are art. <laughs> anyway, I've looked into it, and I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Corral mutation experiments. <sighs> I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> Can we play the game now? Fine. Yeah, okay, so um, despite the, how the meeting went, it appears that Sam was perhaps wise to it, or at least enough that she didn't necessarily want to investigate, uh, involve Zeta in that, because Zeta has to kind of toe the management line to a certain extent, or maybe actually agrees with it, who knows. And if she didn't want to press the Kara issue, then Zeta's on the opposite side. Simple as that. There's anything in there. Okay. Vin, Vin. We haven't seen Vin before. I'm not sure who that is. Looks like the Alien Intruder game was a major pastime, but it's uh, it's thematically appropriate as well because there's a bit of a game going on between all of them right now is in who to trust. Like most of the folks that we've encountered, uh, I don't know enough about Parvin to say one way or another. Who told her Sam was paranoid? Uh, Parvin did. Uh, Fred seems on site, and it was Fred who actually told Sam about the, uh, the the Leviathan in the first place. Yeah, and as for Zeta, the whole your safety is the top priority thing, whilst it may well be true, uh, feels like a line. Sorry, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, it may well be true for Zeta, we know it's not true for Altera. Huh. Well, no. Okay, so I gotta come back here with a propulsion cannon as well. Good. It's giving me fiber mesh. I wonder why. What does it expect me to make? Well, who knows? Whereas at the moment, of course, I'm the alien intruder. Quite literally, I am part alien. And apparently, happily so. Huh. 
Architect teleporter. Hmm. Original speculation surrounding these alien structures posited that the gates may have been religious artifacts or industrial machines. Further research has indicated these gates are, in fact, medium range teleporters that allow for the instant movement of a baryonic material. Uh, across space and time. Teleportation requires the pairing of primary and secondary gates. The primary gate controls the destination and must be powered in order for materials to transfer bi-directionally. If the primary gate is not functioning, the secondary gate is rendered useless. At this time, the processes that enable this alien teleportation technology are not understood, and obviously this is a secondary gate, meaning we cannot power it yet. Though hopefully we will one day gain the ability to, and that will give us a shortcut to Phi, which effectively acts as a shortcut to Whiteshore. It's really not very long away. Alrighty. Well, that's kind of that then, I think, right? Um, let me just drop down behind here. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, this is the tunnel that I saw. Cool. Let's head home. But we're going to return here with propulsion cannon and a spy pangling. Uh, there's an area back there which I would very much like to get into. Actually, whoa, lower floor alert. <laughs> Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. This was hers, I guess. Do all humans like work? Oh, hi. The lucky ones do. <laughs> Are you lucky? I used to think I was. I'm really loving this uh, this hitchhiker that we have here. Oh, cool. One of three. Um, one person hover bike. Are you fucking kidding me? Designed for fast traversal over a wide variety of terrain. It's a sea glide, right? It's the sea glide for land, except I can fly. While providing little protection for the pilot, the snow fox can easily outmaneuver most threats, especially when upgraded with a jump module. Just don't try to take it over water. Um, onboard headlight will make you look cool. Damn straight it would. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, what's this? Um, Combined with a frozen water sauce, water purification tablets can create drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. Hey, good call. It can come out with snow. This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. What's not right? We got that. We don't need one more titanium. Uh, cool. Can I grab this? No. Can I open this? I can. Oh, Zeta. Uh, okay, Sam's room. Very messy, Sam. Shame on you. Something's not right, huh? What could it be, I wonder? By the way, I didn't clock it, but that door in the other room had that picture of that same woman on it <laughs> from the first game. Who is she and why was she so prolific amongst locker art? That's cute. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? Danielle. <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected you know, some kind of reaction. Ugh. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? <laughs> we have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam? I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. <sighs> We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. Huh. Okay, I think we maybe heard enough here that implies pretty heavily that that was the person that Sam thought she might have been dating um, in one of the original messages that she gave to me. Um, in both so far that like the, the air between them seemed relatively familiar and she reacted so strong to the I love you thing. <sighs> but also we can kind of draw a line between... Uh... 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Huh. It was here somewhere. I think it was this one. I think I'm seeing someone. Yep, yep. Uh, let alone forget I said anything. Yep, not sure. And you could tell that she wasn't sure quite where she stood with Danielle there. And then on the third one. Hmm. Definitely not dating anyone. I think Danielle may have sold her out. Possibly. We'll see. We'll see. Zeta. Let's find out a bit more about her. Zeta Landon. Senior scientist, uh, reports to Emmanuel and oversight of all robotics project. Yep. One's like fighting to find a functioning aquarium in here. How are you powered? Nice bed. Huh. Hover ball. Very cool. Uh oh, jukebox cool. Uh, da -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, um practicing mindfulness as a leader. Your team is a sponge just waiting to soak up the energy you bring into the room. Think of yourself as a tea teapot leader. You have the power to saturate your team with soothing, warmth, and healing. You also have the power to burn them. The key to infusing those who follow you with calm is to manage the calm within yourself. First, this is the, that is the power of mindfulness in leadership, which we'll discuss further in the next chapter. But first, let's explore another element of leadership that often goes overlooked the steeping time once you've poured your healing magic over your team you must wait for the oils and essences from the tea leaves to adapt to their new environment to become fragment and fully realized there's powerful there's power in a healing leader but a patient healing leader is unstoppable yeah hmm. oh hey this be handy do I have a uh yeah hell yes new blueprint synthesized fur lined tri laminated Rated, self-regulating. Interior compressor. Hello, hello fishies. Can I rescue you? Are you guys okay? Uh, I don't recognize that one. Huh. Oh, cool. Nice little aquarium. Uh, sure, go on then. Grab uh, one of them. I guess that's it. Yeah, we're only really getting a character read on Zeta. <sighs> With the idea that she might be perfectly nice, but also she is at the very, very least <sighs> aware that her friendly manner is uh, improving her teamwork. I'm just gonna scan this just in case. Yeah, I thought so. All right, well, that's indoors here as well. So now, Robin said something's not right. I actually don't know why she said that. I mean, I have... I can have that already. Whatever. I mean, does it look like it's been searched? It doesn't look any necessarily less ruined than anything else around here. There's not a personal log or anything, is there? What's this? Oh, um... Cool. We can refer to that later. I don't know why... Why she would say something wasn't right. Well. Alright, folks. Well, that brings us very nicely to the end of the episode. And to Sunrise. Look at that. Very illuminating episode. A whole bunch of new potential stuff to explore and to craft. Yes, indeed. So what I'm going to do... I think it's the sunset, actually. <laughs> I'm going to head back to base. Um, I'm going to do a variety of uh, crafting things. And then in the next episode... <coughs> ow. We're going to return to this area. Um... 
hopefully equipped with a whole bunch of new, very cool stuff. Fox drones or snow foxes or whatever it's called. Ah, cold suits, spy penguins, propulsion cannon, able to help us explore this area even further. For now, though, I will leave you with this. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, everybody. In the next episode, we'll do all that stuff I just mentioned. I shall see you then.